What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel and another video. Today we're going to be using this little 3D printed uh, cup and this has different slots. I put a little piece of tape on the bottom to make the holes a little smaller so I didn't have to go through and reprint the whole thing out. And that's what we're doing today. So how's everybody doing? I've never used this lid so I have no idea what's what it's going to do, if it's even going to work, but we're going to try to see. I hope everybody's doing great. I'm having a great day. Just in here painting with you lovely people. So it almost looks like it's just creating four streams on its own. I guess the lines in that must be so close together that it's having a hard time distinguishing the difference between the all the different streams. So it's just Everything's flowing out in four different streams. I'm going to add a little black. I want to darken it up just a little bit. I definitely don't want too much black. Because if we have too much black, it'll start taking over. Actually, the way it's flowing out of this cup in those four very distinct streams is creating some really cool effects. And I like it. The lines are super fine. I love that white and the light blue when they interact with each other. Creates this really cool gradient between the white and the light blue. I imagine it does it with all the colors. This is really cool. I really like how it all, how they converged into just four streams, but those four streams are drawing from several different places which I think is really cool and sometimes it wants to turn into three streams like right now and it's kind of bouncing back and forth between each hole which is interesting I think we're about to be done Just wanna have little pops of color in the middle Kind of like in my open cups. As we get towards the end, I want to slow down. All right, yep. And now we are one more drip. Yes, buddy, I hear you outside. Oh, and we got a little bit of paint on the legs, which is okay. Wow, that has a lot of detail in the middle. Once this thing gets stretched, it's gonna look really cool. So I'm just taking some of my excess paint so I can not have to fight to get to the corners. And I don't want all this to just roll over it either. I want to keep some of these details because this came out really cool. I'm excited to print other types of cups. Now, if you wanted to, you could download the plans for these 3D printed cups so you can, you know, have them yourself. And the link to that is in the description below as kind of just a gift to you guys. Um, and with that, we're just gonna stretch this, this puppy out. Really love the stuff going on right in the middle. All right. Give it a nice, nice spin. Nothing too too hard. Nothing forceful. Ooh. Yeah, the center, when that opened up, that just showing so much little detail. There's still a lot of paint and I don't particularly care for what's going on on the outside, so I will stretch it to make it a little bit bigger. Kind of a little bit of a harder spin. I really want to open up that center portion. I feel like that center portion is going to look really cool. Oh yeah. Yeah, opening that up is definitely a good choice. Well, let me get you guys down here and check this thing out. This thing is really cool. Will you look at this thing? I really, really like the center. 
whole lot of really cool stuff happening in there. And then we have all the little gradients going throughout it. It's very pretty. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.